Hi, this is Tom from Skewworks, and today we're going to be looking at Pixis 3, also known as Gadgetus. Um, Pixis 3, or Gadgetus, has the ability to load up its environment from the SD card instead of sticking you with the default desktop like Pixis 2 did. It also has something called inline hardware driver loading. This allows you to run it on pretty much any piece of hardware that has a touchscreen LCD and at least one user button. Um, it allows you to, to map those buttons to different events that will pop up everywhere throughout the system. For example, on the Chipwork X, I've set the user select button to be the start button. Now if I press and hold that down, I'll get a context sensitive menu. Uh, another nice thing is that we've uh, added support for user profiles. So you and another user can both use the same device and keep your data separate. Really nice feature, I think. We've uh, made it look a little bit uh, along the lines of Metro UI, um, which I think really helps clean things up and it makes those nice big bright icons for you really easy to see, take up more screen space, but I definitely think it's worth it in the end. Uh, what we're going to do here real quick is we're going to launch an application. You'll be uh, familiar with it from Pixis 2, which is Demon Solitaire. Again, it's just the standard tap and tap that we had in the last system. Uh, here we can show off the contact sensitive nature of the menu. So now that we have an application running, we have options of quit application, running applications, switch profiles, system updates, desktop, and done. Done just basically brings you back. I'm just going to go to the desktop real quick. Uh, what you can also see is that we've got sounds enabled, which is a real fun thing. Um, I'm also going to give you just a small sneak peek into Game Slate, which is the game system coming out for Gadgetus. A couple of nice transitions. These are all built in. These are things that you can either use directly through the API to program yourself, or you can use our environment to make a game without any coding whatsoever. Now, another thing with the hardware driver is I've set the up and down buttons. And it also knows hold. These are native to the controls. You don't have to do any coding whatsoever. They automatically know how to deal with hardware once a driver is loaded. In just a second here, we're going to rejoin the video, but we're going to do it on a different piece of hardware so we can see exactly what this inline hardware driver loading is all about. Okay, so here we're back with the proof of concept build I did for the uh, Skewerks Flex. Obviously, it's this gigantic box because I did it myself instead of having a company out and it's all done with pin through holes and jumper wires. Um, but it does have the, the basic principles. We've got the uh, LiPo battery in back, we've got six buttons here, color-coded, uh, joystick, MP3 decoder, RGB LED, there's a line out back here, 4.3 inch LCD touchscreen, all of this will come with the Skewerk Flex uh, for just a little bit more than the Cobra about, by about $25. Uh, so we're just going to throw this on here. And what it's doing is it's running exactly the same build of Gadgetus that uh, the Chipwork X was. Um, however, what we've done is on the SD card, there's a different hardware driver for the Flex Proof of Concept. So when it comes up here, first thing you'll see is it set the RGB LED to this sort of bluish color. Now that's uh, done through a simple call. Uh, it, it's open to all the hardware drivers. It's called Send Message. You give it a message ID and then... Uh, an array of integer parameters. So on the uh, the Chipworks I had a user select button that served to start. Here I've got my white button which is start on flex. Just hold that down and that same menu will come up again uh, like it did uh, on the other one. Now the difference here of course is instead of up, down, left and right buttons I've got a joystick over here. But everything else pretty much works the same. You know I can tap here and uh, launch the Demon Solitaire come in here and, and again same context sensitive menu and uh, you know it'll it has uh, support for uh, mp3 decoding it'll have dual speakers on the uh, production device and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this first look at uh, Gadgetus which is Pixis 3 and uh, the proof of concept box for the Skewworks Flex. Thanks!